Good morning, friends. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. I'm so thankful that you have joined me for the Morning Mindset. It's time for us to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. I want to start by asking you a question. What would you be willing to give for the sake of remaining faithful in your faith to Jesus? What would you be willing to give? Would you be willing to give all of your possessions, your life, the life of a family member? Friends, we really need to consider this. The story we have before us today, from the book of Acts, chapter 6, we're going to be reading verses 8 through 15, is the account of what happened in the life of a man named Stephen, who had given himself to Jesus Christ as his follower. And it cost him everything. And yet Stephen, as we'll see, did so gladly and did so full of joy. Let's read the passage, and then we'll come back and talk about it. This is verse number 8 of Acts chapter 6. And Stephen, full of grace and power, was doing great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, and of the Cyrenians and of the Alexandrians and of those from Cilicia and Asia, rose up and disputed with Stephen. So an argument's broken out about Jesus. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he was speaking. So Stephen was winning the argument because of the grace and the power that God had given him. Then they secretly instigated men who said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes. And they came upon him and seized him and brought him before the council. And they set up false witnesses who said, This man never ceases to speak words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses delivered to us. And gazing at him, all who sat in the council saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Now Stephen, I kind of gave away the ending of this story. Stephen is going to die for the sake of his faith in Jesus. But these men have come against him, and the power that God has given him has given him a character, and has given him a testimony, and has given him a a composure before them that they just can't resist. So what do they resort to? They resort to lies. They start making up stuff in order to shut him up. And friends, we really need to think this through when it comes to our faith in Jesus Christ. What are we willing to die for? What are we willing to stand for? You see, it's a tough question because it's theoretical most of the time. And it's something we could easily nod our heads and say, oh yeah, sure, I would do like Stephen if I had to do it. But folks, when the rubber meets the road, our heart is going to guide the way in that. And what we've given our heart to most fully is where our heart's going to go in that difficult time. So stop and assess for a moment. Have you given your heart most fully to your own comfort, your own protection, your own provision, your own well-being? Or have you given your heart most fully to your Savior, Jesus Christ? Friends, I've struggled with this my whole life, just asking this question myself again and again. And I feel like the Lord has brought me to a place where God calls the shots. Jesus is Savior and Lord, no matter what. And I've learned through various opportunities of of failure and success that He is worthy of my full allegiance. He is worthy. No one else, not even myself. And so to give my life for Jesus, I would count an honor and a privilege. And I'm hopeful that it won't come to that in my life. But I'm also hopeful that if the opportunity comes for me to stand for His name in the face of persecution and even slander and lies like Stephen experienced, I would be able to be faithful. And I know it could happen because God has promised himself to give his grace to me in times like that. And he's done so for you as well. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, will give of himself that we can represent him well when the time comes. Maybe you're experiencing it right now where you live somewhere across the world. Maybe you experience it in a way at your work or in the culture that we live in. Friends, keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep yourself 
strong in faith that he is more than worthy of our full allegiance. Jesus, give us that power. Give us that sense of confidence that you are with us and your power and your testimony are enough for us to cling to. Holy Spirit, empower us and enliven us with your truth that we can be faithful witnesses, faithful against the onslaught of ungodliness as we continue to live in a sinful culture. Lord, fill us up with yourself in your name. Amen.